Hello, today is December 20th, 2023, and today I feel like spirit is really trying to put me out there. So your message for today is going to be a process, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to get out of this, but hopefully you get something out of this. So I'm talking to Holy Spirit, and I guess I'm supposed to walk you through the process, right? So... Usually when I'm talking to Holy Spirit, I will I will just ask a question. Usually it's questions. And then so I am asking the question, what am I supposed to speak on today? And what came and I guess what it feels like for me is I sort of get like a sensing, like right in here. <laughs> it's, it feels like something you would say, it, it would feel like, Okay. If you were to express it, you would say, I feel like it's supposed to, or I'm sensing this. It, it's not all the time that it's like a, a, like a clear, like messaging or whatever. Right. So for me, sometimes I will see pictures. Other times I see nothing, but it feels like a sensing a knowing. I just know. And that comes from practice too. And then other times, if I feel like my head, or it, I'm, there's a lot of chatter in my head, then I will speak in tongues. Tongues um, quiets all the noises. And now I feel vulnerable. I hate this. Okay. <laughs> I feel like prayer or speaking in tongues is so intimate for me that it's just like on the internet I just feel so weird but we're not going into 2024 afraid and I'm realizing in the past like three days of making videos I am not as obedient as I thought I was and so that's another challenge that I'm going to have to figure out but anyways I digress because I'm stalling for time because I'm feeling vulnerable okay so so when I start speaking in tongues, what happens is I quiet my mind. So it would go something like this. And instantly, my brain cannot tell because it's not audible for it to get a message on what to do. There's no cues because my brain is trying to figure out what's the messaging what are we doing now and so it's like wait wait we don't understand this language there's no like there's no uh pathways there's no neural pathways for it and so it's trying to figure it out but it goes silent right and because it's silent i can hear myself better okay so in the middle of me prophesying to people sometimes i will just i will go tongues english tongues english and sometimes i'm interpreting the tongues and other times I am like quieting so I can hear a little bit better, especially if I feel like I feel doubt starting to come up. Like, you sure you're really hearing what you're hearing right now? Everybody goes through this, okay? Everybody does. And so I, I just quiet it. So, this is actually my number one tool that I have used in terms of mental health. Like, I am not the same person as I used to be. I used to suffer really, really badly, like in my early like uh, adulthood with like a severe case of like depression and suicidal ideations or ideations. Um, and like extreme case of just like, um, I don't know, I just, I had a lot of issues going on mentally, internally. Nobody could tell because I'm always the life of the party, hey? <laughs> um, and I'm always surrounded by a lot of people, yet I felt so alone, even though there was, and that's the worst type of like loneliness. And I feel like the one thing that has cured me is prayer, but specifically praying in tongues because I'm not saying anything that my brain can actively process. And so it's constantly just trying, it's really trying to keep up with me in a sense, right? And so it's, it literally calms down those voices, the, the, it shuts it up, right? 
so if you feel like you're going crazy a little bit and you 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 have a lot of internal dialogues that you need to rectify praying in tongues helps now if you don't pray in tongues if you go on youtube and search um like uh, gibberish meditations you will see people practicing gibberish meditations okay what does gibberish meditations look like it looks like showing up to a classroom and the teacher says we're gonna just babble like little toddlers that don't speak nothing okay and that makes people feel uncomfortable i feel like tongues or gibberish makes adults feel uncomfortable because we take ourselves too seriously also i think another thing is that um we think that god speaks english or he speaks a specific language but in the realms of the spirit you're picking up on thoughts it's so you're picking up on thoughts it's not necessarily like a english it's more of like i heard what they said and i have the knowing and i know how to interpret it in my own language but they didn't speak specific languages does that make sense i don't know but so that's my process but today what i really felt uh, towards the end when I rehearsed this with spirit <laughs> it didn't go like this though <laughs> when I rehearsed it with spirit was I was going to end with a prayer so I'm going to say a prayer for you okay so father god I thank you I thank you for this individual that is tuning in to watch or just maybe by accident I thank you that they've stayed this long in the first place because this is a really long video that wasn't meant to be this long okay this is how I pray okay <laughs> anyways Father, I thank you that today is a day of opportunity and today is a day of reconciliation. Reconciliation with you, first of all, and reestablishing a, a unique and divine type of relationship that you would mend the broken spaces for those that have had uh, weird encounters where they've perceived you to be something that you are not for them. I pray that today would be the day of encounter. I pray that today that you would receive love in a new and, and peculiar way. I pray that love shows up for you in extraordinary ways that you've never experienced it before. I pray that today that favor goes before you and comes after you, that you would experience love like you've never experienced it before. I pray that today that the guards that you've put up like iron bars would begin to give way so that love can permeate and penetrate your heart. I pray today that every stony heart is made soft. It's made soft. That today that God is softening those aspects of you that you felt like you need to put up a front and ready to fight at all times. That today God is stepping in and he's saying you don't have to pretend to be something that you are not. You don't have to keep doing it this way. Today that God would bring a unique softness that would cause you to soften up and to step into that place, that place of authenticity, a place of being authentically you, unap unapologetically yourself. I thank you, God, that today, that all of heaven and all of earth and everything in between is conspiring in your favor. I pray that today, things that you didn't even imagine begin to pop up within you so that you can aspire for more. You are loved. You are blessed. You are favored. You are cared for. And right now I pray that unique opportunities of people uh, caring about you in a unique way would begin to show up. I love you. Uh, I will talk to you guys another time. This video is longer than it was supposed to be, but God bless you. Thank you guys. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.